Welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel. There is one term you will hear often when it comes to medication, adverse drug reaction. So what is an adverse drug reaction? Stay tuned to find out. What everybody, really everybody should know. It is a common misconception that adverse drug reactions and side effects are the same term. Do you know the difference? Let's start with an important distinction. Adverse drug reactions are never desired, always connected to clinical trials, and are always adverse. Adverse drug reactions, unfortunately, often require interventions. On the other hand, adverse drug reactions may not be related to the drug action, are always harmful, and may be unexpected and inexplicable. For example, hair loss and chemotherapy. Side effects are related to the way the medicine works may be even beneficial and or harmful and can be expected. Most side effects, however, resolve over time. For example, aspirin is a blood thinning medication and may cause nosebleeds or bruising. This is a known side effect mentioned in the drug's information profile. We hope it's a little bit clearer now and we will dive deeper into the adverse drug reactions. Patient safety is crucial for all clinical trials and even when a medicinal product is already on the market. Maybe you've heard the term adverse drug reaction before. To make it simple, an adverse drug reaction is sometimes called an adverse reaction or undesirable effect. It is a response to a medicinal product which is harmful and unintended. Adverse reactions can occur in the pre-approval phase of a clinical study with a new medicinal product or an existing product now being studied for a new indication, a study to find the right therapeutic dosage of an existing medication for the same indication, but for a different population such as for children, and all harmful and unintended responses to a medicinal product related to any dose in the previously mentioned scenarios should be considered adverse drug reactions. The phrase responses to a medicinal product means that a causal relationship between a medicinal product and an adverse event is at least a reasonable possibility, i.e. the relationship cannot be ruled out. Let's have a look at a real-world example. Once, there was a clinical trial with an anti-obesity drug to treat those that were classified as obese and overweight. The medicinal product worked very well, and their participants lost weight, and their overall shape improved a lot. Ordinarily, one would think that the weight loss would also make a participant happier. Unfortunately, that was not the case. The adverse drug reaction caused depression, and some participants even committed suicide. This is, of course, unacceptable. And although the drug has had good results when it comes to weight loss, the adverse drug reactions render the drug unacceptable. Any medicinal product which have a therapeutic desired effect can have an unwanted effect too, also called adverse drug reaction. This can be after one single dose or after continuously taking the medicinal product. Sometimes it can even show up later with a combination of two or more medicinal products. There is also a second term to differentiate here, the unexpected adverse drug reaction. The unexpected adverse drug reaction is an adverse reaction to which the nature or severity is not consistent with the applicable product information. This means if a certain expected adverse drug reaction, such as a slight headache or light nausea, appears more intensely, becoming more severe, it is now to be classified as an unexpected adverse drug reaction. In addition, in order to understand the difference between an adverse drug reaction and an adverse event, please take a look at our adverse event video. The principal difference between an adverse event and an adverse drug reaction is that a causal relationship is suspected for the adverse drug reaction, but is not required for the adverse event. In this framework, adverse drug reactions are a subset of adverse event reports. Adverse events refer to a harm caused by appropriate or inappropriate use of a drug, whereas adverse drug reactions are a subset of these events, where harm is directly caused by a drug under appropriate use. We hope that you enjoyed the video and now understand the term adverse drug reaction. To get deeper insight into patient safety and the terms in clinical trials, 
don't forget to watch our adverse events and serious adverse events videos. See you next time. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.